many people ask me about how to edit private character sets or how to create one private character sets well it is very easy if you are using windows 7 system or windows 8 uh, you can have if you type in here private character editor it comes along see private character editor click on it to open up a private character now the thing is that I have already been doing this like the standard rupee symbol which you normally not get definitely you not get it initially so let us choose any of the free blocks any of the free blocks over here whatever you want any of the free blocks let us click on this one because I already did this so it is already present so our main intention is to create a rupee symbol which is essential to link with all the software's applications that are running in your computer so that it can make use of this new rupee symbol uh, to uh, do any of such uh, financial task okay that's fine so choose any of the empty slots and click ok the moment you click ok you are given a full blown grid now be sure that you are able to type th that R symbol that big R you have you are you are being given a pencil brushes uh, all the tools that you normally see in a simple uh, paint application and here you have to now type in that big R like this but instead of type uh, just doing it all by yourself now that R that raw almost is very much similar to the R in English so what we will do we will click on here and click copy character so once I click copy character you have been given a lot of different characters that are present in English letters so I'll be choosing this R over here and click OK the moment you get it you are having a base right now to start creation or to start editing your R the rupee symbol so it's very simple it's very simple now click the eraser and first wipe out this whole of this because I am doing it for demonstration purpose you can understand that I am doing it a bit faster so that it, you, you understand the basics and also remove few of the extensions here and here also that makes it near to R and then you come to the selection tool and select this entire make it center across fine make a little bit down that is fine here that is fine and now you simply extend again you choose this pencil brush you extend this because this R needs an extended extended brush extended uh, line so there it is and you extend this also this rupee symbol I am not good at drawing but uh, I am trying to manage you see that this is fine okay you can a little bit drag it like this so that it replicates like R okay so that is it you can still center across it a bit more so that it like resembles like R okay uh, so there is our R the r rupee symbol now you must save it first click uh, file and click save character just click save character that saves the character and now that what you have to do is that you have to click edit and click once again you have to type in copy character but what I am going to do right now is actually I am not going to copy the character instead I am going to type in the code for this character which was selected here you see E010 E010 is the code so just go ahead and type E010 that will bring in bring you with this character fine that comes up here this code the, uh, the unicode uh, of this character 
on your computer right now is E010. So it can be anything. Please make sure that you type in exact this value E010. Now you simply copy this. Right click, select first. I have first selected with the help of mouse. Then right click and click copy. Now you have to paste. Now you simply can cancel this one. Cancel. That's fine. And even if you can close this because you no more need this. Let's close this. Now you open up a very special area that is a Windows. And go to Control Panel, and here you click Region and Language Settings. Region and Language Settings. For many computers, if uh, if initially if you're having these settings, when you go to this Control Panel, make sure that you first change this to large icons, right? So when you install your Windows 7, you end up having this uh, this non-detail, non-detail, not that much detail control panel. But you switch to the full-blown control panel either by clicking large icon or small icons. It's fine. I I prefer large icons because you can see all these icons in big. And then you choose this region and language. Now clicking on this, you'll be getting this dialog box. Then click on this advanced settings. Go to currency symbol. Now here, as because I was already uh, using this, I I, I I was already I have already done that earlier uh, for the sake of demonstration. Actually, initially it it should be dollar something like this. If you find this dollar, this is fine because this is what it is for the default. Now you have to remove this default and simply paste the symbol that you wanted it to. So rupee. Now simply make apply and OK. The moment you do this, save, apply, OK, you are simply done. Now you open up any of your uh, favorite program, like one that runs for my client, that is Retailer's Choice. I can open it up and show you that this is indeed working. Now that. Come up over here. This is a software program that I've created for one of my clients that is for rallies. Uh, now, just one more item, please. Now, if you click this print, which is in print preview mode, if you click print you'll see that these rupee symbols are all coming. These, rup uh, these rupee symbols are all coming. That means you are done. Thank you for watching this video.